Hey guys, what's up? Um, I am a little bit of a mess right now. My hair is kind of crazy, but um, whatever is what it is. I'm gonna be doing a list today and I love doing lists with you. I feel like we really get like down to business as far as the um, retardation of today's society. And there's no voices out there who lay it out like I do. So I am your martyr basically. And I'm happy to be because I will never shut up. I'm not trying to save the world. I don't give a shit about you. I just want to talk, okay? And, and things need to be said. And I just don't like that. I feel like my voice is such the minority. Like where are people's brains? So anyway, we'll get into the list like I always do. I know my nails are grown out underneath. They're not dirty. They are my nails and they are grown out, okay? I need to get them redone. Okay, stop. Anyway, we're just gonna clear the air with all of the truths <laughs> before we get started because I'm gonna like be like, oh my God, my nails. People, like, your nails are dirty, they're not, not dirty, okay. So, um, before I get started, um, you guys know that every year I do do a Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year promo. And um, when I do my free gifts, you know they are epic. And usually for Chinese New Year, or I call it Chinese New Year, I know it's like Lunar New Year because that's more like for everyone. Um, but you guys know I lived in China for two years. So like my time in China is very like near and dear to my heart. And um, anyway, I've always done Chinese New Year promo. It's like my thing. Um, and okay, so usually I do like a, um, like a hong bao which is like money so i give like money off order but your orders but this year i did a free promo i'm uh, sorry a free gift promo because you guys love my free gifts they're always amazing i have um this year they're called the money bracelets i'll show you them and they are totally free one per order of your choice available in gold and silver i hand make each one of them and there are different sizes too so if you have like a small size wrist or a big size wrist i can totally do that for you because i hand make them all so i can do whatever you need and free with every order there are four different designs so let me just show you um these are there's two of the four okay so this is the grand celestial um i also want to say that these are ch chain designs or sorry, these chain designs are used in my line so for example this one i dropped like two weeks ago i think as a necklace the, the celestial chain necklace and now it's available as a bracelet for free okay like i don't ever just use free things i don't ever you guys know that about my free my free gifts are never free they're always real designs that i keep in my line or they're like materials that i use actually in my line they're never stuff that i just get for like free gifts like everyone does i would never do that to you i want you guys to like get these free gifts and know they're not free they're actually amazing pieces that i keep in my line and i and i love you know what i mean okay so you get it so this is the grand celestial this is the only one though there's only available in gold okay every all the other ones are available in gold and silver this is the radiant uh sorry radiant curb you can see the etching on it um this is more like unisex for everyone and comes in gold and silver and i put it next to my cartier because i want you guys to see that like it's gorgeous like they're gorgeous like my jewelry this is real 18k cartier and it looks amazing next to it like you know what I mean? It just like stands up next to it. So it's so gorgeous. Also on the back of this one, it's glossy. So it's like two, two, like you can wear it two ways. You can wear it with the etch or you can wear it with the glossy side. Um, yes. Okay. So that, and if you want multiple bracelets, you have to place multiple orders. It's only one per order. Okay. This is my like fun dainty stack that I did. And these are all available to purchase. These are the two free ones. This is the um, flash nova available in gold and silver and this is the flash paper clip this is not like a thin paper clip or anything it's a really beautiful like thick chain it's really glossy it's it's a really really nice piece it's not like a thin paper clip um and then this is sterling silver crosses with te tennis it's like a tennis bracelet but with crosses all the way around i love it um if you love god and you have a wrist stack please get this. It's so pretty. Um, I haven't, I didn't wear it and actually I was wearing it in I think my last video or whatever, but because my sleeves were not long, you couldn't see. Um, anyway, this is really, really pretty. It's gorgeous. Okay. Anyway. Um, and then this is, um, like lucky four leaf clover mixed with evil eyes and you can get it in like an emerald green or a pink. These are all hand painted too. So if you love the evil eye vibe, this is for you. And then you can add a free bracelet. Okay, of your choice, gold or silver. So you guys know my promos are always epic. I never, ever, ever like 
skimp out on a free gift. I would never throw some garbage at you as a free gift. You guys know my Bloomingdale story, whatever, when they like threw the free mirror at me and it was like the most embarrassing thing ever. Like it was so like, or when like Target gave me 5% off for my birthday. Like I would never in a million years do that to you guys. I like love my line too much to ever disrespect it like that. So go choose a free bracelet. Remember how like a few weeks ago too, I was like saying I need to make new bracelets. And then I, so I decided I was like, I'm just gonna do bracelets because we need bracelets right now. Like I just don't have enough bracelets. So um, let's start off with some free ones that are not actually free quality. And it's also a hundred dollars and over free shipping for us. So really it's a double promo. It's really easy to get to and you get an amazing free piece. So go choose yours now. And that's that. Okay, let's get into the list guys. I'm My hair is giving Tina Turner. Like, I don't know why it is, but it is <sighs> giving Tina Turner. Is it not? Okay. Um, I'm also wearing, this is my Coquette crosses. It's three crosses. Um, I love it. It's like these really gorgeous um, simulated diamond crosses. They're like Celtic-y looking almost because they have like these star bursts on the ends. It's really pretty on like a matte gold chain. And then, um, sorry. And then this is a 14 K gold filled. I love this piece. If you just want like a piece to wear like every day, you don't have to take off and it's really sparkly. Of course the lighting in here sucks. Um, get this, I'll link it. And I just wear it all the time. Like it's just a really comfortable piece. And I wear it with this. This is my glitter filter lariat. And I said the, the, um, lighting in here sucks. This is so sparkly and it kind of just sits on your chest and it looks like you've double wrapped. Like you wear this and then you wear this and they're separate, but um, I just love these two together and they're just really effortless and then I just put a chunky piece with it and it just kind of like makes it cool and fun Okay, so that is my vibe today. Let's get into the list um, I don't know how I'm gonna Start this basically. I'm not gonna give you guys the rant by the way I am I only have 15 more weeks left of my pregnancy. I know it's not like nothing but I'm like really pregnant right now. And like, I went to get my hair done yesterday. I went to the um, Hispanic salon, which I love to go to because I don't like hairdressers. No, I do not. I do not like the hairdresser vibe. And a lot of you guys out there are hairdressers. That's fine. I probably don't have a problem with you, but I personally don't like the hairdresser vibe. People, I don't like to like, I feel like every time I go get my hair done somewhere, like I like a real salon, like a white girl salon. It's very like, um, what's the word for me? Like, it's a lot of pressure and like, I don't like that. I don't do, like, I don't know. It's like, why is it so snooty? Like, why are hair salons so snooty? Like, why does everyone wear the fedoras and like the, the Marshall's clothes and they give you attitude? I feel like they give you attitude and I feel like it costs an arm and a leg. And so I just don't really do that. Like, I feel bad. I'm not saying like, don't go to the hair salon because I'm not kind of trying to like tell people not to like support other businesses it's not it i just have never liked going to the salon you know that i just feel like it's a mean girl vibe almost it's too many women i'm not pro women i'm pro everyone i'm pro if i like you as an individual you know that so i'm sorry if i have indigestion it's the pregnancy it's just disgusting i know so you know what i mean i don't like that too it's like i don't know i'm not like i'm really not like a, it's not that i'm not a girl's girl i'm an everyone girl like i don't just I don't like the thing I'm a girl's girl because like, I'm really not like do why would I be a girl's girl who are who are the girls we're girling about do you know what I mean okay so anyway I went to the um, Mexican I called the Mexican hair salon because it's like just I said I just do I just do I just called the Mexican hair salon okay so I went to the um, Mexican hair salon yesterday and they did my hair last night because I just cannot blow, out, blow dry my hair anymore it's like getting too long and like I'm like fat and pregnant and I just like at the effort I just can't so I did that yesterday I forget what I was getting into but anyway it looks good um I like going there because it's not pretentious as much as a, you guys think I'm pretentious I'm really not like I can't stand airs I cannot stand what people put on airs um I like to do you guys know you made fun of my wedding as fuck like you said it was white trash in a parking lot I don't like to put on airs I can have a wedding at the Beverly Hills Hotel if I would like to 20 times over if I'd like to I don't that's not that's a lot of pressure it's not a vibe everyone and their fucking mom does that it's so phony I went to a restaurant that I liked and we love solving like that's what we did we didn't give a shit we invited like four people you know what I mean? Like, it's not that. We just had a fun time and you guys just don't get it because you are new money and you're a loser and you don't get it. Okay. And just because I am on the internet, you think that I need to like, I need to like prove myself and like have like big, huge, ostentatious weddings. Um, why would I do that? Why would I ever, I've already gone to this, but you guys like make me get in trouble. Why would I, why would I pay 
for idiots to come so I can feed them and whatever for one night. Like, I, I just, I, I don't even like people. Why would I do that? It's stupid. Okay, so then we went to the casino afterwards. That's what we did. That's what I like to do. And now you've ruined my hair out of me being angry and I haven't even started the list yet. So I'm not actually a pretentious person. I'm actually very unpretentious and I don't like pretentious things, even though I like designer and stuff like that. I'm not pretentious. Like you got, and I hate people that try to be pretentious when they like don't have the money for it. It's even more cringy. Okay, it's even more cringy because if you're not like Rockefeller, then what kind of, what, why are you spending that kind of money? It's weird. Okay. Let's get into the list, bitch. All right, here we go. So yes, I'm pissed. All right, let's, the first thing I talk about is the Lana thing. And I'm not gonna get into the whole Lana Del Rey and Taylor Swift thing because I have a subscription on my Inst on my YouTube, sorry, on my Instagram, like a subscriptions option. And I did a rant on there about, oh no, I didn't. No, that was not, sorry. I did the rant about Lana with Skims. Okay, I, I can do that here because it's not. Okay, anyway, I'm, I already did a rant on my Instagram for everyone, I feel like, about how Lana Del Rey and Taylor Swift were at the Grammys. I don't watch that shit. I don't like celebrities. I can't stand woke celebrities with like, it's so, the phoniest shit ever. And I think Lana is pretty left. Um, she probably is. Like, I think I saw something on like her dad's page or one day. I'm like a sleuthist thing. Like I am the kind of person that will go down a rabbit hole. I won't go down a rabbit hole on the internet, but I'll like look at your Instagram page all the way down to like 20 fucking 15 to see what kind of stupid shit you post. And I think her dad's like super leftist. So she probably is too. I don't care. Like I have friends who are leftist too. Like it's not that, like I don't give a shit. It's not, I'm, I'm, I'm not like the kind of person. If I like you, I like you. It's not that. Um, anyway, that's not the point. I, why is, why the fuck? I don't care if it's because they have the same manager. I don't give a shit what it is. Why did Lana go to the Gram Grammys with Taylor Swift, a fucking nerd, okay? A fucking dork, okay? Like, it, like every time I see her, like, I don't care. I know she's a billionaire. Like, she fucking schools us all. That's not it. Like, it, she is just the cringiest person. Like, I'm not gonna say I don't like Taylor Swift music. I think her songs are catchy. Like, I do like Teardrops on My Guitar, like old songs like that I really love. But to, to be honest, it's hard to decipher between all of them. They sound very similar. She's not, I'm not saying she's not talented. She's, she's very, she's done, what if she does is very good. So who am I to judge? I just don't, there's something about her. I don't understand the fascination. Like it is, it, it is an obsession people have with her. I don't care about her. She's dumb. She's a mouth breather. <laughs> Close your fucking mouth. You are worth $20 billion. Do something. I don't know. Like at night, get for some fucking tape. Like it's weird. Why do you walk on? with your mouth open. That's what you do. That's what she looks like. Okay. That she walks on her mouth open and it's, it's very off putting. It's very off putting and I don't like it. Okay. And the fact that people are like so obsessed with her and she's got zero style. It's just weird to me. Okay. Anyway. That's not the point. Fucking Lana pissed me off. Like, why is she hanging out with a fucking dork? Irritates the fuck out of me. Doesn't win anything. Dude, oh my God. If someone would have treated me like that, I can't imagine what I would have done. Okay, so put it this way. Imagine inviting me. Imagine, imagine there is something about an awards show and I'm invited and, I, and, I'm, and I'm a very, whatever I do is very good. And I get fucking punked, basically. I get humiliated. I get a dick slapped in my face. Cause that's what happened to Lana. Someone slapped their cock in her face. She won nothing. Taylor Swift drags her on stage with her as Taylor Swift is accepting an award and Lana Del Rey does not get anything. Excuse me. And Lana Del Rey um, is okay with that? We're okay with being treated like shit. Um, that is the last thing that I would have uh, been okay with. I would have left the building. Do you think that I would have for one minute been disrespected the way she was disrespected? Why? So the thing, thing is like, does Lana have no balls? I don't know her. I don't care. But like, why is she okay with that? She got, she never wins anything. I don't get it. She never fucking wins anything, right? When she deserves it. Um, and it pisses me off. Like, why did she sit there and continue and, and let everyone there slap her in the fucking face with their dicks by not getting by by her not getting anything winning anything when we know that she is talented her music is a fucking vibe do you know what i mean like she checks a lot of the boxes for us you know we love her okay another thing is this i am going to kill you rats yes i am okay so you have been telling me how broad i am i am so broad you're a man you are so broad right like your body is a man right um, that's what you guys tell me all the time. You also make fun of my bangs. You don't like my bangs, all right? So Lana Del Rey is not skinny. Lana Del Rey is fat. Okay, yes, she is. She's fat. She needs to lose weight. I'm pregnant right now. It's different. She has gotten fat. I think she's losing weight. Good for her. She needs to. 
Um, because when you get to be bigger, you're not a vibe anymore. No, you're not. Your clothes look like shit on you. Okay. And she was getting to the point where it was just like beyond return. She was not passing at all. Like this is the truth. The sky is blue. Get the fuck off of my page. Okay. So anyway, I think she started to lose weight, but she comes to the event with Taylor Swift with the ugliest bangs I've ever seen. And of course, all you little fucking rats, all the little gay boys who like don't have the, who you guys like gay boys. It's like, if you, if it's like, no matter what you are going to stick up for Lana Del Rey, if you're a gay boy, you have no, you cannot even have a critical thing. Take your fucking brain out of your cock. Okay. And use it for two seconds and say, Hmm, she doesn't actually look the best tonight. Those bangs don't look great. And she looks that dress made her look broad as shit. So all of a sudden it's okay, right? So all of a sudden cause it's Lana Del Rey. So now you can be fucking broad and you can have bangs. But when it comes to me, you're gonna fucking pick me apart. So actually no, do you know what I mean? Like it's not the point. <laughs> I'm just like saying like for so many, so many years, I feel like people have, been, people have made fun of me. Like I know I'm broad, I like I have, I have like broad shoulders, swimmer shoulders and I have a wide chest, but like, wow, she was really, I didn't like her outfit at all. No one did. She looked like shit. And the fact that she fucking went with Taylor Swift, what a fucking dork. That is not good for the vibe. You ruined it. Like, bitch, what are you doing? So anyway, she kind of like recovered yesterday when she like showed herself in a photo with a Glock, right? Like, okay, where are we going? You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing? Because I hope she does something. Like, I was like, I would be that mad too if I was you after the Grammys. And like, I got fucking like a dick slap in my face like over and over. The thing is that she should have left. Like she should have left the fucking building the moment she found out how like it was rigged or whatever I, and then she wasn't getting anything it's like enough's enough like how is taylor swift winning all the shit every time and then oh, i'm irritated i am so irritated by this like whole taylor swift thing and like lana like being in her shadow lana is not main character energy like around i don't know what it is she's like is she like, meek is she meek because i don't want anyone i don't i don't like i don't when it when someone's like meek they're not my vibe i need big dick energy for i always got big dick energy from lana's like music in a way but now that she's showing up with taylor swift being like not main character energy around taylor swift i'm like getting very turned off because now her like do you know what i mean like lana why did you let why did you let that happen why didn't you leave you should have made a statement and just left i've been like i'm gone i'm out of here I, I would never have sat there like like and and not gotten any awards I, and when she's deserving i just would have left and that would have shown big dick energy do you know what i mean okay so that's that rant um and i just wanted to like also bring up i told you about like the bangs and the broadness. So you'll never say it about Lana, but you'll say it about me. Okay, shut the fuck up, idiots. Like equal opportunity for everyone. Do you know what I mean? So now you like, just go away, just dumb. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is the degradation of America, the decay of America. I was on the internet the other day and I'm sure everyone has seen this. It's um, these two like buildings, these two skyscraper buildings in LA, in Los Angeles. I think they're like downtown and they're like these, they're kind of abandoned, I guess. They're like, they're up and they are like, I don't know if they're already ready to be, I don't know. They've been sitting up apparently for like a year or whatever. Okay. I don't know, but they're like two skyscrapers, like apartment buildings and, um, wake up one morning and ev like, it's like 50 stories or something. I don't know. 30 stories. Okay. I don't even know. 20 stories. Okay thousand stories they're massive okay and like basically every single window is graffitied on like every single window has um you know like apartment window is covered in graffiti so they had some like graffiti mob or something overnight I, i'm not sure if it's overnight I, this is uh, whatever it's, it's during some period of time go and graffiti the entire building okay like every single window and i was like what the fuck like just typical garbage la trash low class behavior you know what i mean and i was like wow and then i didn't even think to look at the comments because that is just such a normal thing to think when someone goes and tags an entire building you think garbage gangs trash crime shit okay that's what you think if you're a normal person if you're not a fucking woke psychopath that's what you think you think um criminal you think um what's the word when you vandalize someone's 
personal property that is not yours. Okay, you fucking idiot. Okay, so I don't know why I was like, I was like, I wonder if there's an, one idiot on, on these, on the comments. I open up the comments and every single fucking comment was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Look at the art. That's LA for you. Go LA. I love LA. Oh my God. Like, that's our culture. Like, oh my. So this is why I, I'm not. This is why I'm not. This is why this country is so gone. People are, people think that is beautiful. If you go to some, I don't give a fuck, you idiot. If that building has been sitting there for 20 years, abandoned, okay? It's not yours to put your fucking nasty ass gang fucking, you guys know I do love like old, I, I think that when graffiti is done properly or correctly, I think it's pretty, I think it's cool. It's not yours to tag. And yes, it is very, ghetto and it is very like like trashy it is like art like i'm thinking of the word graffiti is it, it comes from gang like that's how it started it started like gangs did that so like, it's not pretty no it's not it's rough it's edgy it's like the history of it is probably violent. It pro yes, it is. Like, if it's not yours to tag, go tag your own fucking house, which you don't own, okay, you idiot? No, so go tag, take a little piece of paper and write on there. You're not allowed to go on someone else's fucking 20-story building just because it's been abandoned or whatever and tag every fucking window. And these idiots, these fucking idiots are like, are like mesmerized by it. They're literally coming in their pants over how beautiful the art is. They think that's art. Like they think that's art. Like this is what society today thinks. They think that graffiti is art. Like this is why LA is so done. Like it's not even LA is done. Like we are done. As a society, if you're sitting here saying that it's beautiful to tag with fucking graffiti or anything, someone else's personal motherfucking property, you fucking trashy ass piece of shit. If you think that's normal, there's something wrong with you. You are just so decayed. Your brain is so decayed where you think that everything in this world is should be yours and free. It is sick. There's something wrong with you. Like you, uh, there, you're not, you're not fixable. The, this world is done. I was shocked. So I wrote something on there. And of course, like no one agrees with me. Like people are writing back, like how wrong I am. And it's like, I don't even know what to say because just like last week when I talked about that fucking kite baby thing, no one agrees with me. You guys are dumb. How do you not agree with me? Do you think a fucking employer needs to pay your fucking ass if you're going to choose to have a child and needs longer than what your agreed upon fucking contract is? You fucking idiot. This is not what a business does, okay? Period. Like, do you, what is wrong with you? If you want to have a child, okay, and you need more time, then you're fired. That's the way the real world works. And yeah, my hair is getting to be nasty. I get it. Like, the, I don't understand. And like, last week on my video, you guys, like, no one agrees with me again. Like, everyone is like, you wait until you had a child. Do you not? You're so stupid. Wait until you have a daughter. Like, wait until what? Wait until what? You think that when I have a daughter, I'm going to say, make sure, when you have a baby and if there's a problem, like, what? Make, tell your, what? Like, tell your employer that you need as much time as you want off and they have to fucking absorb your position and, what are you talking about? What is wrong with this fucking world? I, like, cannot do it anymore, you guys. Like, this is not, this is clown world shit. The, like, it just sucks. And I, I don't, I'm like, I'm reading these comments about my last video and I'm just shocked. I'm literally mortified that this is the way that you guys think. Like, how is this fucking possible? Like, I, I just don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand how it's possible that you guys think like this. Just like people think that going and tagging someone's fucking I don't, whatever property is beautiful. I don't care. Like, I, I'm lost. I'm totally lost. I, I don't understand. And then the one before too, there was, an, oh yeah, the one with the disabled people. When I said that, when I see disabled people, adults, children, whatever, it makes me sad and it's tragic. And it's a thousand percent, I'm like getting indigestion. 
it is sad and tragic to me like you guys wrote me off as like the biggest nastiest like a cold-hearted person ever what what are you talking about when you, when you see a, a, dis, a severely disabled individual that makes you happy that makes you happy like what are you talking about what, what the f mother fuck are you talking about i don't get it okay so these are just three topics there's also one more topic i'm gonna bring up there was a few more i'm gonna like leave them till next time because i'm getting worked up but like this whole thing is sick this whole thing is sick you guys art we used to have like michelangelo okay and fucking leonardo da vinci as art now we have some fucking trash we have some fucking like i don't even know like trash like gang trash going in and tagging up a building with some fucking spray paint <laughs> spray paint big fucking deal some motherfucking bubble letters with some shading and that's art how how low have we fucking stooped man that's beautiful that's what we're gonna teach our children is beautiful you guys we are this society is done it's so done it's done it's done it's done i'm not gonna get into why it's done you know why i think it's done it's done okay the next thing I talk about is Trader Joe's, and it's the last thing I'll leave you with, and I'm done. Yes, I am. I told you guys before, I think Trader Joe's is, like, so white trash. I feel like Trader Joe's is so poor people. Like, it is. It's just something about Trader Joe's that is just so, I, it's so poor people. I cannot stand it. I, when I, I don't know what it was. I, I tried to go there. I do go there. I'm not going to say I'm not Oh my god. What was that? He like almost literally hit my car. Fucking white trash fuck. Okay, so um there's I don't know what it is about Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is like the poor man's we used to be like like Whole Foods, right? Whole Foods is now also like kind of poor. It's very like giving, I don't know what it is. It's not bougie. What's bougie? What's like a bougie? supermarket like gelson's or bristol farms something like that i don't know not, not really whatever there's probably another one too i can't remember probably those but like whatever um or Irwan, but there's only, those are only in la and that's retarded like you know like a fucking carrot stick is like 12 dollars or something it's like retarded anyway um i don't trader joe's you guys there's something there that's like i don't know what it is is their food like not real I, okay there's something going on there i can't put my finger on it but like every fucking time i buy produce from there i bring it home and it's rotten like i bring home a bag of oranges even though i look at them and like there's they're rotten like or they don't taste right <sighs> or i bring home like lemons and they're rotten or i don't know like what is what trader joe's i okay i want to get more into this i don't know what it i don't know what it is but i'm going to tell you a story and then i'm going to go I, I, Trader Joe's is like, it's fun to go to buy like kind of fun stuff, I guess, but I don't know what, what is Trader Joe's? I'm afraid to like eat that food. Like all that frozen shit. I never buy any of it. It's so scary to me. It's almost like play food. Like I, what, what is Trader Joe's? I don't get it. And okay. I remember this was back when I was, when I first started my videos in Irvine, you guys remember when I used to live there and, um, I love coconut so much. I love coconut, but it's very, very fattening. You guys know that, right? Like coconut, like heart, like, like, um, raw coconut from the coconut, like the meat is very fattening. It's like avocado. I think even more, more fattening, but I love it. Anyway, if you look up like coconut calories, you can see what it is like per ounce or whatever. So at one point, Trader Joe's was doing like frozen coconut meat. It was so good. It was just frozen. Like, you know, they have like frozen vegetables and frozen fruit. It was like in their frozen fruit section. And I was buying it because I read the, I, it was cut, it came in pieces. Like, and they were all relatively the same shape pieces and ounce pieces or whatever. And it said like four pieces was like X amount of calories. And it was like totally doable. It wasn't bad. Even though I knew that coconut was very fattening. I just thought that like, I thought that they had measured it out and they like had it thinner. I don't know. I just believe the ca their calories and their, their nutrition facts. So anyway, at one point I just started not believing it. And I think I, this was so long ago that I weighed it out and it was so wrong. It was so inaccurate. Okay. It was so fucked up. It was like double or triple the amount of calories it said it was. I called Trader Joe's like, yes, I did. I called, call me Karen, I don't give a fuck what you say, you fucking little rat. I called Trader Joe's corporate and I was like, told them. I was like, what is this? I was like, you guys can't do that. I'm like, 
I forget what it was. It was so long ago. Nothing happened. They didn't give a shit. But they don't have that coconut anymore. It's not because of me, obviously. They just don't do it anymore. Um, but I was shocked. Anyway, I just don't believe. I just There's something about Trader Joe's that I just don't believe. It's almost like, what is this place? I don't know. Do you, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't believe anything about them. I don't believe any of their nutrition facts. I don't believe any of the ingredients they have in those in those foods. And I, I there's something wrong with the produce. I, I don't get it. So I'm, I'm gonna keep going there like every once in a while to get things here and there. But um, because we don't really have like a, rest, like a grocery store around here. We do have a Gelson's, but I don't go to Gelson's anymore because they are very rude. And you can go see my video about how Gelson's um, is the most disgusting company ever. They kicked Ming out, like, when I was, like, living in L.A. They, like, it was the weirdest thing. And the owner, literally, like, the owner of Gelson's, the son, called me to ask me to take my video down about it. And I, I did not. Instead of him calling to apologize and give me gift cards of the fucking asshole and a fucking gift basket of fucking fruit, the motherfucker told me to take the video down. I told him to go fuck himself. But I couldn't believe it. So, anyway, I don't, did I ever do a rebuttal on that? I don't think, unless, I wasn't like that. I wasn't like that outspoken back then but yeah they kicked like Ming out I was going to get just a coffee and they were so nice and then this fucking asshole like who works there some fucking bagger idiot fuck came back it was like oh there's no dogs allowed I forget what it was you guys probably saw the video um but the worst part of it was and I, the thing is this like you all of your employees are like love Ming and all of a sudden some like stupid ass rogue employee comes and like kicks, tries to kick Ming out when I'm holding my dog and all I'm doing is getting a coffee to go. Do you really, like, pick your fight. You know what I mean? I'm not in there, like, letting my fucking dog take shits all over your fucking carpet. I'm getting a fucking coffee from your shitty ass fuck. I, I will never go to Gelson's again. I won't. Like, I won't. There's one right here. And it's empty all the time because it's just, food is so expensive right now. And I went in there, like, uh, six months ago. I forget why. Because I forgot. I forgot about this. Literally, there was no one in there. It is such a huge store, and there's no one in there, and I never want a business to fail because I'm, like, so pro, like, anything other than the government. You know what I mean? Like, I want people to, like, have their own businesses, but I hope they fucking go under. I really do because they are nasty fucks, and that fucking son, I, I forget what it was. He was either a son or something. He called me. He was, like, the owner. He was, like, the something, something big, something big, asking me to take the video down. Like, seriously. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it. <laughs> um, do not forget about my promo. Do not forget about the promo. Um, go choose one or some for yourself. Love this so much. And yeah. Okay. Bye.